Hello, and welcome back to my Ultima 4 playthrough. We are right here where we left off at the Shrine of Humility, surrounded by uh, poison. <laughs> but we are at the Shrine. We are with our ship. We are going to uh, do a little sailing today and see a new place. Let's bring up the map for a bit and take a peek at that. We haven't reviewed the map in quite a while. So we're at the Shrine of Honor. I may have said humility before. That was a mistake. We're at the Shrine of Honor, which is uh, over there uh, east of the Valerian Isles on the on the main continent, if you will. And we are going to sail south, and we're going to check out those little that little group of islands that make up the Isle of Deeds. And and on there, we can see there's a symbol of a castle. Is the last place that we haven't been to I one of the last places we got that stupid village up at Lock Lake but we have not been to see Serpent Castle which is the keep of courage if I remember correctly uh, you've know, got the Lyceum which is I think that's truth and Empath Abbey which is love and and Serpent Castle is is supposed to be courage so we haven't been there yet we have a ship we're kind of in the neighborhood I want to meet my way over back to the Shrine of Humility um, where all the demons are. And I, I figured this would be good to do on the way. I have a feeling that the entirety of our episode today will be, will be dealing with Serpent Castle, but we're making our way back, back there, back to the Shrine of Humility. That's the ultimate go. But let's get back to the game here and let's uh, board our ship. And let's get sailing. So we need to go south um, until about, I, I didn't look at the thing. So we're at M and we need to go south until about, O, and then we need to scoot over until to, to like I, um, you know, if I locate our position now, we're at M and F. So we need to go to like, O and I is the ultimate destination. But like I said, there's a lot of little islands along that area. And I want to just, we ne won't necessarily exit the ship, but I want to just see if there's anything of interest on them. Uh, or not, um, it's probably going to be a lot of not, but it can't hurt to, to, to at least take a peek. You know, like these we can't even get on because of, of shoals um, or re even really get super duper close to. So here's the start of these aisles. It's unclear, you know, kind of where the Isle of uh, Deeds stuff start. I guess the Isle of Deeds is the big one. Oh, we got Nixies. Okay. I just went to them because I thought, you know, they're annoying. And the sooner we can uh, take them on, the sooner they're dead. And so I figure we just might as well be, be about it. Be about it. Let's get her done. And, and since they don't really, they don't really do, they don't have any negative effects for us as far as, you know, they don't steal anything. Or, or anything along those lines. You know, they're not... It's not that big a deal to take them on. Okay. <laughs> that was easy. That guy's heavily wounded already. Yeah, three Nixies do not stand uh, much of a chance, nor do they pose much of a challenge. Now, if this guy isn't going to line up in an appropriate manner... Um, I might have to get Katrina to take a step over. That guy's fleeing. All right. He did a poor job fleeing. Now that guy's fleeing. I should look at people's health. Katrina is doing the worst, but I think she's only got 300, so. Yeah, she's, this guy's, what, taking one one hit point off with every hit? Even, even, even Katrina can easily withstand that. Ah, she missed. He's going to run away. Actually, I should move Iolo over. He can help her out. Since she seems to have a case of missitis right now. There we go. All right. So we've got more of these aisles. 
we're just going to kind of sail around them a little bit and just see if there's anything of interest. I'm not really expecting there to be. I think we know, we know where all the shrines are, I think. So I'm not quite sure. I suppose maybe another village or something could possibly be there, but uh, I'm not really expecting a whole lot from these with the exception of um, the actual Isle of Deeds that contains Serpent Castle. So you, I'm trying, just trying to gauge. Let's uh, locate our position again. So we're at P and I. All right, so we're nearly about where we want to be. Um, let's see. Yeah, okay. I th I'm looking at the map here. I think this is the, the bottom of the Isle of Deeds. Maybe. Yeah, there it is. There it is. All right. I mean, we can fight these guys if we have to. I, I don't know that I really want to. All right. All right, let's exit. So let's take a location. All right, so there we are. We have found uh, I, what I believe is going to be Serpent Castle. We will see here in just a moment. Okay, let us enter. Serpent's Hold. Oh, Serpent's, I thought it was Serpent's Castle. Now, this should be, um, like I said, the Keep of Courage. We want to look for the bell, I believe, here. And do I have any miscellaneous info? We need to find a one-handed one -handed beggar to learn about mystery orbs. So that's kind of interesting. And there's a beggar right over there. Uh, we might start with him. And then we do have to find some guy named Antos. Um, and he'll tell us about the, about the bell. So that's our margin orders here. So let's talk to this dude to begin with. You meet a destitute, stinking beggar. All right, what's your name? I am Roderick. What's your job? I cannot work. Okay. Um, well, I don't. I don't remember where I am on compassion. Uh, I should actually take a peek again and remind myself. I'm actually elevated on compassion, but sacrifice. I'm ready for elevation, so I, it can't hurt to give them a little bit. I'll give them ten. Just you know. Just to show that I'm still keeping up. All right. So I think that's all I have to ask this guy. He's not one of the names I'm looking for. Let's just make sure there's not anything else out here. There is not. All right. We got a couple guards. Sentry. Interesting. What's your job? I rule. Interesting. I rule this prophet. Prophets. And yet you are uh, standing there like a, a guard. I guess he's just really friendly. Rule. Province? Yes, these islands and much more. Okay. Um, can you tell me anything about the bell? It was the bell, right? I'm remembering correctly. I mean, it's been like two, two minutes. I think it's the bell. Shouldn't well, it's either the bell or the candle, but I think it's the candle is supposed to be love. I think, yeah, all right. Well, interesting. So, who's this guy? I am sentry. Oh, sentry. Ah, I get it. Um, all right, what's your job? You also rule this province. Islands, more. So do all the guards think that they are rulers of this? Are, are, do we have a ruler here that's like cloning himself? And so they all think they're the ruler? I am Michelle. Hello, Michelle. And, you know, we're in the keep of the bell. So Michelle, my bell. I like the Beatles. I don't know if that's where they were going. That's where I went. 
Well, how are you doing, Michelle? What is your job here? To welcome thee. Ah, oh, I feel so welcome. Um, she, she calls it Serpent Castle, which is what I'd heard. Um, Serpent. Okay. Um. Let's say no. Just I'm just for chuckles. I'm curious what she'll say. Visit our healer. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. Thank you. Um, do you know anything of the bell? You don't. Well, thank you. I feel very welcomed. Uh, I think we'll go straight. Let's go straight and see what there is. I'm trying to keep my eyeballs peeled for secret rooms and stuff. So we've got some doors here. This looks like an armory. Oh, no, it's an academy. Oh, fascinating. You meet a ranger engrossed in training. What is your name, sir? I am a ranger. What is your job? I am training. I kind of saw that one coming. I train so I might survive the dungeons. I plan to conquer the secret of the altar rooms. Well, this could be interesting. Since I don't, we found the altar rooms, I don't really know what to do with them. So this might be very helpful to me. Dost thou? Yes, I do. Ask our teacher about the rooms, for she knows much. Oh, very good. Thank you. Is this other person the teacher? Oh, oh we got, oh, I see. We got three people in here. Ranger and Gross and Training. I'm going to guess that's the same tree. I'm not going to bother with that. The Training Master. Hi there. My name is Gizmo. What's yours? You are Shira. Hmm. Interesting name. What's your job? Well, you're obviously the Training Master. I train warriors to fight with courage. Train. Train well, and thy courage can grow with confidence. Wilt thou train? Sure. How's it, how is my courage? Well, my valor could use could use a little bit more. We're not quite up to elevation on that. We're at four. Um, so yeah, we'll train. Let's see what the, I mean. Is she going to train me? Do I have to pay? Don't get training lessons. Bravo! Okay, she's happy. I'm training. Isn't that nice? Um, you know anything of the bell? All right. Oh, altar. Room. In the altar room of courage, use the red, orange, purple, and white stones. Are we supposed to be getting these hints at all of these places? Because I've gotten some some hints about, hey, you can get to the uh, altars from these dungeons and which stone you can pick up from which dungeon. But... I haven't gotten this before for the Ultra of Courage. So that's that's new information for me. Okay. Actually, I wasn't done talking. I did that wrong. Stones. Let's see. So red. Okay. So, all right. So that's interesting. Um... Dungeon, stone, altar, room. Okay, so now we need to go back. I think we need to go back for a couple things anyway, but really need to go back <laughs> to the other two. Courage. All right. Very important information, I think. Thank you very much. All right, let's go over here. I think this is going to be the healer. This is healing. Yep, we're, we're really okay. Um, let's just look at Katrina. Yeah, she's at 300. She's only at 294. So, so yeah, we're, we are good. We are good. Uh, let's... Okay, so we didn't do anything with that. Look, it's Sentry, and we have two hidden rooms here. But let's talk, let's, first of all, let's see if these guys all think. Bar Baronial Guard. What's your name? What's your job? 
I guard our lord. Sentry rules this castle. Yes, I would like to talk to Sentry. I mean, I, I was just in front of his face, but do I have to ask? Granted, enter. Oh, isn't that nice? So, are you the same? A stern guard? No, you're you're. Oh, maybe it is. I right, guard our lord. Yeah. Okay. Same thing. All right. Well, let's talk to Sentry. I am Sentry. What's your job? I, I mean, this is looking familiar. Let's see if he's got anything more because he's he's not a guard. He doesn't have the guard avatar. So maybe there's something more here. I, I wonder why the guy's at the door. I mean, once again, is he making clones? I'm not totally sure. Rule. Province. Yes, these islands and much more. Islands. More. Much. Bell. Room. Stone. <laughs> Dungeon. All right. Same, same thing. Well, let's check out. There's one of these on either side. So let's just check this out. Oh, this is a treasure room. We obviously don't want to be nicking his treasure. And these guys, I mean, I couldn't even get in there if I wanted to. Treasure guard. What's your name? What's your job? What's the treasure? It's not for thee. I do not intend to steal it. Wise move. All right. Is there anything else in here? No, not really. Just a little bit of space. I guess he could store, you know, precious paintings or something if you need to. Is this going to be more of the same over here? Yes, but there is a guy in here. Let's talk to the guy. A wise druid. What is your name? Sister Antos. Okay, so this is the Antos that we need to talk about to find out about the candle. Uh, excuse me, the bell. Uh, all right, so what's your, what's your job here, Sister Antos? I have important information. Info on what subject? The bell of courage is needed to enter the abyss. Dost thou have it? Nope, nope, nope. Nobody, nope, nope, nope. Then ask the fighter Garam, for he knows where it lies. I don't know that we've run into Garam yet. Can you give me a hint, maybe? Where Garam is? you tell me anything about courage? Stone. Dungeon. Room. Hmm. Let's, uh, I, I doubt they're going to have any. No. And yeah, same thing with candle. All right. Well, that was important information. I feel like we're doing so much better <laughs> here in Serpent Castle than we have uh, at either of the other two places. All right, so that's that. We've got some good clues. We haven't found what we need to find yet, but uh, let's make sure this guy's name. Oh, this was Michelle, my bell, yes. All right, what do we have in here? We've got a room with a fighter in it. He's just kind of hanging out here. Bold fighter, what is your name? Garum. Boom. Uh, what can you tell me about the bell? The bell of courage lies at the bottom of a deep well at sea. Found at latitude and longitude. N A. Let's bring up the map. N A and L A. So N and L. So N and L is in the middle of the C. And by the A's, it's going to be kind of like at the top part of N, and it's going to be on the, I think, the, the leftmost part of L. That's going to put it somewhere a little bit south, south 
west of Magencia, it looks like. And how do we get something from the bottom of a well? Okay. That's really interesting. That's really interesting. All right. Do you know anything? Can you tell us anything else about the well? C. Bottom. Rune. Uh, we have all the runes. I don't even know why I'm asking about the runes. Stone. Altar. Probably not. I mean, usually they have one piece of information they're going to impart. Um, but just for Chucks. All right. Hmm. Okay. There's no no hidden stuff in here to see. All right. Let's go to the right and see what there is to see. So we've, we know where the candle is or the bell is, duh. Um, we've talked to Antos. So we've done that. We haven't found the one handed beggar yet. There's only been that one beggar. It didn't say he only had one hand, but it said he couldn't work. Maybe we need to ask him about the orbs because that's what, that's what it says. All right. So maybe we'll have to go back. We'll hit him on the way out. We'll hit him on the way out of here because we're almost through this. I thought this might be a wee bit bigger. Let's see who this is. A tall fighter named Durham. Okay, we don't have any specific clues about this guy. So, what's your job? I quest for glory. All right. I feel that when on a quest, my life has purpose. Art thou on a quest? Yes, I am then thy life has meaning. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't think he's supposed to be anybody here who can join, but yeah, he can't join us. So, I feel like there was, there was another word I wanted to try there. Glory. That was it. Got nothing to do about that. Hmm. Have you been in the dungeons? The altar of courage gives the third part of a key. All right. Did we have that? I actually already had that clue. So I'm guessing, yeah, obviously, all three of these we're going to get. We're going to get a part of the key. By the way, you know, red, orange, purple, and white. Uh, we obviously have to go through all these dungeons, but just for courage, we have red is. Dungeon Starred, Orange is Dungeon Covetous, Purple is Dungeon Shame, and White should be, a, uh, I think is going to be a high thoth. I've got a question mark by that and by Black for Deceit. So I'm not sure about those two. Uh, but uh, yeah, so interesting. Okay. I'm glad I went back for that. I just, I just had a thought. Key. All right. Third part. All right. I think you've, you've told me all you can tell me. There's no secret passages there off of that room. Nope. 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 And how about here? No. And nothing along here. I think that's the entirety of the castle here. So this is the only beggar we've found. Hello, Roderick. We just came back. What can you tell me of the orbs? An orb of blue light will raise thy strength, dexterity, or intelligence, but at a cost. Now, from stuff other people have told me outside this game, I believe the orbs will um, are visible in dungeons. Um, and you can pick them up and they will raise... They will raise... Um, an attribute, I guess, is going to be strength, dexterity, or intelligence. Presumably, there's one at Hythoth that we did not find. So the cost is interesting. I'm one, you know, is it going to raise one and lower another, or are we going to lose hit points, or gold, or food, or what? Can't tell me anything about that. All right. So that was one of our little notes that we had here to, to do. So I think we are done here. I think we have completed everything we want to do. 
I don't think there's anything else I need to ask this guy. And uh, there's no no hidden rooms accessible out here. And we can't get to anything else. So I think that's it. That's everything I wanted to get done here. This was uh, remarkably easy. <laughs> Easier than I expected. But let's, uh, why don't we take a little bit of time and oh, we'll fight some things apparently. All right. Um, I'm going to leave you there, Iolo. You can come over. I'm going to go up. All right. I'm hoping that one guy will come over a bit and Iolo can en engage him in battle. Barely wounded. You're missing. That's not helpful. Oh, uh, yeah. Those rocks aren't helpful. That guy's heavily wounded, so that's good news. All right. Oh, I didn't want to move him. Maybe what I'll do is I'll put Dupree there. All right. You can attack. Ah, oh, that guy finally moved over. Okay, let's start wailing on some mages. Iolo, you're not helping. Why don't you make us a crossbow and then maybe you'll be more accurate. I had a commenter that says, you should get everybody crossbows. And it's like, yeah, I probably ought to. Yeah, but I'm still annoyed that Iolo is the fame maker of crossbows and he's made us exactly zero, so. I mean, I feel like he should be outfitting us and at, at most we should be paying cost. You know, not full retail. Whoops, you are not lined up. But you are lined up with me. That guy's gone. Heavily wounded, fleeing. There we go. 14 gold. Wow, that was worth it. That was worth it. All right. These guys are kind of a pain in the butt, as I recall. Ooh, there's a lot of them. I don't remember how strong they are. Well, not super great. It wasn't a one shot, which would have been nice. That guy's heavily wounded already. All right, that's good. That's good. Whoops. Uh, with these rocks here, it's just, it's just, uh, I did not want to do that. It's just tough to uh, get everybody in the party where they can uh, contribute. All right. You can get up there. You can get up there. I think we need to get Iolo some glasses or something. He's like old. <laughs> And he can't see. All right, I'm moving. Let's move up a little bit. Uh, it doesn't help you, does it, Dupree? All right, that guy's gone. One down. All right, I'll move over so Dupree can get up there, I think. I like how these three are all lined up. Now I'll send Katrina over to help out, um, to help out uh, Julia there. Okay. And maybe I'll help out these guys here. So you can go over there. I 
I've been looking, okay, heavily wounded. I haven't been looking at, at the tech, so I've been more focusing on where do I want my people to go and, and making sure I don't screw up my movement for this round kind of thing. All right, that guy's lightly wounded. He still has a long way to go. That guy's fleeing. Ah, heavily wounded. Good hit, Julia. All right, Katrina, that was very good. Um, hey, that's not fair. Okay, I knew that guy was fleeing or trying to. Come on, Dupree, we're helping you out. I think that one might be fleeing, or he's just trying to jockey for better position. Lightly wounded. All right. Gone. All right. Lightly wounded. I'm gonna send her over him over there. Still lightly wounded. Ooh, critical. Nice. Nice hit, Iolo. I apologize for the crack about getting you glasses. <laughs> no, I don't. All right. Heavily wounded. Let's get these guys done. There was something else. I forget what it was, but there was something else that was coming, I think. Or maybe not. I may have been thinking of these guys when we were fighting the mages. But we could use a little more a little more gold. It's always a welcome thing. Alright. I should have moved Julia over there. Doesn't matter. All right, get. Well, that really wasn't one on the hit, but we do need, it wasn't my plan to do this. I meant to hit the G, I hit the H. We're resting on our gold. But uh, yeah, okay, good. We're full up now with health. Ooh, that was nice, 91 gold. Very nice. I mean, this isn't a super huge island. It's bigger than some, but it's, yeah, okay. So there's not really a lot here, few few baddies and that's about it more of these guys who and a demon i'm gonna just for chucks i'm not sure it really does much with with demons but you know it can't really hurt you know th that you've already engaged and that aren't in that one particular space but i figure it can't hurt maybe freak them out a little bit you know, psychological warfare is important. All right, lightly wounded already. Still lightly wounded. All right, let's get up there. Melee peeps. Oh, Iolo, it's your big shot. Oof, that demon's fleeing already. I feel like it does, it, it, it does unsettle them. I feel like they, they f start fleeing awfully fast when I blow the horn in this kind of situation. I might be all wet, but, but that's just just the way it, it feels to me. All right, that lets us critical, so it means he's probably gonna be dead before Dupree can get up there and do anything with him. I should look at, at, at my stats, at the stats for everybody. I'm not sure where everybody is as far as leveling up it's actually been a few weeks since I last recorded this heavily wounded alright I'll come over missed lightly wounded
I wonder if certain locales generate certain creatures more often because I find it odd that we've had two parties of these liches in a row. All right, I can move over to deal with this guy that's trying to do an end around. All right, I think we just killed one, didn't we? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. That's a good thing. Heavily wounded. Very nice. Ooh, killed one. Heavily wounded. Good job, Dupree. I'm gonna come over. All right. Ooh, he's fleeing. Maybe not. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> and then there was one. Heavily wounded. Now it's critical. That was your big shot, Katrina. Get some XP. All right. 39 gold. Not too shabby. All right. Well, I think I will let that be that for this episode. Uh, we've killed some things. We found a new location. We've got a few more places now to... Uh, to investigate in the future, uh, and I think next time we'll head uh, we'll head to the uh, to the um, to the east and and get back to where we can go for our elevation and humility and get that done so that hopefully we never have to go back to that island ever 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 again. That's my hope. We'll see. But uh, yeah, thank you for joining me for this episode, and please do come back for the next one. And until then, be seeing you.